So we started this garden. This is the Gorilla Garden, uh, also in the Lower Ninth Ward. Um, we started this garden in 2009. Um, it was a blighted lot even before Katrina. It looked kind of like that across the street. Just uh, you know, a mess of, of overgrown weeds. Um, what you can't see though that's hidden in there is uh, trash, uh, tires. Um, we even found on this site, we found a hypodermic needle. Um, you know, parts of weapons, you know, things like that. Um, so same like with the other garden. What I started with doing is organizing folks in this area to come together and decide, well, what are we going to do with this? You know, this is our neighborhood. Um, what about turning this into something that's going to be beautiful and productive uh, for our community? So come on in, let me show you the Gorilla Garden. Everything you see is, you know, we, we work together in order to, to make it happen from the pathways to having the trees planted to the fencing around us. Um, this all came out of, you know, conversations um, that we had. And when I say we, I mean the, a few of the neighbors who live around here coming together and, and creating a vision for what we wanted, one, most importantly for our neighborhood, and then two, how we could have that manifest into in a garden space. Um, so having the, the beautiful fencing was, was one of it. One thing that's really important for us as a community is to have things um, that are beautiful, that do, that, that create the conversation that we care about our neighborhood um, and that this is something that's special and important. So it was really important for us to make sure that we raised the money to get what we actually wanted as opposed to just something that we thought we could, you know, we could get or maybe we could afford. Um, these are all, um, most of these are citrus trees. We have a few fig trees um, here. When they start producing fruit, we'll have pick your own days where people in the community can come and, uh, you know, and pick fruit off the trees. Uh, we recently did a fruit tree giveaway where we gave away about 80 trees um, to folks in the neighborhood. And again, with the, you know, the stories of how things used to be, people were talking about how before Katrina, the fruit trees that they have, or growing up, the fruit trees that they had. And the storm blew away. The storm uh, destroyed a lot of the fruit trees. So we had the opportunity to replace them through the fruit, fruit tree giveaway. And uh, I can't tell you how popular it was. We ended up with a waiting list of, you know, there's a lot of people who, who really want to return to that, who really want to start growing their own things again. So yeah, this is our community garden plot uh, space over on the side. And again, like the other one, each of these are, uh, are maintained by a, a resident of the neighborhood and they grow what they want and they do what they, you know, what they want with it, whether it is to just take it home or to sell it at the market, or just or to give away, to share. Um, we have one communal plot over there. Every year we usually do a, a watermelon patch, and the kids really like that, so we're gonna be growing watermelons again this year. Uh, this will be a place where about a third of it is gonna be dedicated to storage space, so we'll be able to lock up tools and you know and different things like that in this third. And then the other two thirds are just are gonna be open, so, um, It'll just be a covered area where you can go and get out of the sun when you're here working at the garden. So as you can see, there's really not very many places where people can get shade in a garden. So, you know, so that's really important. Um, we just recently too installed um, an irrigation system here so that each of the plots can be watered. All you have to do is turn on the water and the water flows to each of, each of our garden plots. Um, including our other, our blueberry plot back there. We have about four blueberry plants growing in the far back um, that are starting to produce berries already. Um, right here where I'm standing, right here, this is going to be our outdoor kitchen space. So this area is going to be uh, covered with pavers. We're going to put a barbecue pit here and, and a fire pit and it'll be a place where people can, um, so it, it basically it'll increase our, pa our capacity to be able to do more um, community food events, people coming together to eat together, to cook together. Um, I like to have you know food demonstrations here, food preparation demonstrations here, and just you know having different organizations and individuals be able to use the gardens for their own events, you know, and just really be able to have a space in a community that they can uh, they can enjoy and be able to come together in.
so we put the sunflowers in so that they could see something quickly right be able to come up and like oh okay i see how that works i can do that um so this is part of a community mural project that we did in uh it's a collaboration between Xavier University, Tulane University, and folks in our community, the Backyard Gardeners Network and, and our community. So um, what uh, we wanted a mural, a beautiful mural at our garden, and the uh, head of the, the Xavier Art Department suggested that we make it a community project. So they actually came in and we talked, uh, we had a series of story circles where um, folks in the community, it was kind of like a guided discussion about um, what the neighborhood uh, means to them, what the neighborhood was like uh, when they were growing up, um, how they feel about the neighborhood, story, we heard a lot of like Hurricane Betsy stories came out, um, and throughout all of those ideas, they took the Xavier students, took those ideas, and they created a mural. Um, one of the things that, uh, so actually, so that's where the Chan, you know, the the whole idea of the pans coming together in unity. Um, on the other side, there's uh, a couple of uh, kind of outlines of families, um, which you don't see, which they're going to put on soon as uh, images of food and other images of, of families working together and things like that. We get a lot of uh, volunteers, not volunteers, we get a lot of visitors from other countries come. We have a relationship with New Orleans Citizens Diplomacy Council where every time um, visitors, especially from African and African diaspora countries, come into New Orleans, we want them to come to our garden. So one of the things we also wanted to include in the mural was this world map here, so that anytime a group from another country comes, they can kind of put a pin in, uh, you know, in roughly where they're from. And uh, so we can represent in our garden that um, we have a connection to people all around the world. Well, this, this is our is attempt at, at a rain garden here. Yeah. And the purpose of a rain garden is to, is to help, um, uh, just to kind of help with water management in, in a neighborhood. So when it, when it rains really hard, instead of a bunch of water kind of overflowing the, our sewage system, it can, be, um, it can be soaked into the rain garden. So plants are planted here that, um, that like a lot of water. Um, and the garden kind of sits a little bit below street level um, so the water can flow in and there's rocks underneath that create spaces for water to sit so um, you know so it helps with with water management I bought my house July 2005 so that's a month before Katrina hit and I really didn't intend I still was living in New York I didn't intend to move back and live in it um, but you know, because of Katrina, I decided to you know to come home, and that and ended up being where I live. And I spent about a year and a half rebuilding my house, and so I learned everything. I learned um, how I learned how to do uh, framing. I learned how to tile my kitchen floor. I learned how to put up sheetrock. I learned how to um, you know put up siding. I learned I don't know what else. I learned a little bit of electrical work. You know, I learned a little bit of everything. So. I, I like to be able to use the skills that I've gained and you know and whatever I do so this is one thing this is really simple an outdoor bulletin board that we put in so that whenever anytime people come by they can kind of know get a sense of who we are and what this project is and then also what's going on in the neighborhood whether it be events that are happening here at the garden this is a regular event we have called the garden walk or um, things that are happening in the community. Our email address is backyardgardeners at gmail.com. That's B-A-C-K-Y-A-R-D-G-A-R-D-E-N-E-R-S at gmail.com. Backyardgardeners at gmail.com.